It moves with precision, scanning its surroundings like a machine built for something far greater than just patrolling. This is the Vision 60Q UGV, more than just a robotic dog. Engineered for versatility, it can carry a rifle, navigate rough terrain, and even detect weapons of mass destruction. A machine built for modern warfare, designed to think, adapt, and endure. But what makes it so advanced? And could it be the US Army's next game-changing asset? Let's take a closer look. The Vision 60 QUGV might not look like much at first glance. Just another four-legged machine, right? But don't let its simple design fool you. Those legs. They're the key to everything. While most robots rely on wheels or tracks, this machine moves like a living creature, adapting to unpredictable terrain with ease. And in combat, that kind of mobility is priceless. Think about it. Why do soldiers still move on foot, even when tanks and armored vehicles are on the battlefield? Because wheels and treads can only go so far. They get stuck, they struggle over rubble, and they definitely can't climb stairs. But the Vision 60, it was built to handle all of that and more. Urban warfare is brutal. It's not just about charging through open fields, it's about navigating tight corridors, multi-story buildings, and environments filled with debris. Tanks can't just roll through without leveling everything in their path, and that's not always an option. Troops need to move in and secure areas without causing mass destruction or risking civilian lives. But that puts them in danger. That's where the Vision 60 comes in. Designed to move like a mammal, it can follow soldiers into places no wheeled robot could dream of reaching. Stairs, rubble, uneven ground. It moves through them all as if they were nothing. And if it falls, no problem. This machine doesn't stay down. It gets back up and keeps going. Ghost Robotics, the Philadelphia-based company behind this robotic marvel, has built something that's not just tough, but smart. Traditional walking robots tend to be clunky, slow, and overly reliant on cameras to navigate. If they lose visibility, they become useless. The Vision 60 is different. It's more software than hardware, constantly learning and adapting. Unlike older robots that require extra sensors just to feel their surroundings, this one doesn't need them. Instead, it relies on advanced software-controlled actuators that process real-time force feedback through its legs. This allows it to move smoothly and recover from obstacles faster than other robots. No exotic motors, no unnecessary complexity, just a highly efficient, incredibly resilient design built for the toughest environments. And when we say tough, we mean it. This thing isn't phased by extreme conditions. It operates in blistering heat up to 131 degrees Fahrenheit and frigid cold down to negative 49 degrees. Rain, snow, rough terrain. It's all the same to the Vision 60. It's built to follow soldiers wherever they go and sometimes even where they can't. Endurance is another major factor. A robot that runs out of juice in the middle of a mission is nothing more than dead weight. But the Vision 60 is built to last. At full power, it can operate for three hours straight and stay on standby for up to 21 hours. And if it runs low, no need to plug it in. Thanks to Omega Dev Group's Agility Charge system, it can recharge wirelessly. That means soldiers can power it up on the move, keeping it in action without missing a beat. But durability and endurance are just part of the equation. A truly effective combat robot needs intelligence, and the Vision 60 delivers. Powered by NVIDIA's Xavier GPU, it processes data in real time, using AI to analyze and react to its surroundings. It's equipped with five RGB cameras and four time-of-flight depth sensors, giving it a complete 360-degree view of the battlefield. And even if those sensors go dark, it can still function thanks to its unique blind-mode software. 
While other robots would be rendered useless without vision, the Vision 60 keeps moving, mimicking how real mammals navigate the world without sight. Repairs are another area where this machine stands out. In a combat zone, there's no time for complicated fixes. That's why the Vision 60 is built with a modular design. If a leg gets damaged, swap it out in minutes. Camera malfunction, replace it just as easily. Even the main CPU can be swapped out on the fly. This means that instead of being a liability when damaged, it can be back in action almost immediately. Now the technology sounds incredible on paper, but theory and practice are two very different things. So how does this machine perform in the real world? The ongoing Russo-Ukrainian war has made one thing painfully clear. Every modern combat unit needs effective ways to counter drones, both electronically and kinetically. But that's easier said than done. Fast, maneuverable FPV drones are becoming a deadly threat, and stopping them isn't cheap or simple. The Vision 60Q UGV, however, might be one of the answers. Between August and September 2024, the US Army's 10th Mountain Division and the Development Command Armament Center, DEVCOM AC, put this robotic soldier to the test during Operation Hard Kill at Fort Drum, New York. Their goal? Turn Fort Drum into a leading hub for counter-drone warfare training. Among the many tests, one stood out, a Vision 60 equipped with an AR-15 or M16 style rifle mounted on its head, the barrel extending forward like a mechanical snout. Furthermore, the rifle is enhanced with a high-tech electro-optical targeting system, featuring a large thermal and infrared lens, perfect for tracking aerial threats. A laser sight adds to its precision, while multiple GoPro-style cameras mounted on the mast at the rear provide a complete situational overview. A video released by the Army shows soldiers remotely operating the rifle through a tablet interface. They haven't said much about autonomous targeting, but let's be honest, that would be the ideal evolution for counter-drone warfare. Still, the Vision 60 isn't just about high-stakes combat. It's also a tireless sentry, patrolling perimeters, standing guard at checkpoints, and securing areas where human soldiers would be vulnerable to ambushes, snipers, or drone attacks. This machine takes over the routine yet dangerous tasks, keeping troops out of harm's way. And in search and rescue missions, its ability to cover rough terrain means it can locate missing or wounded personnel without risking additional human lives. Its utility doesn't stop there. With a payload capacity of 20 pounds, the Vision 60 can carry much more than just a rifle. It can be equipped with specialized sensors, communications gear, and surveillance equipment depending on the mission. And in worst case scenarios, this robot is built to handle some of the most dangerous threats imaginable. During the 2003 invasion of Iraq, Coalition forces had to wear heavy biosafety suits to protect against potential chemical attacks. Saddam Hussein had already demonstrated a willingness to use such weapons, and the risk was real. But those suits, they were brutal, hot, restrictive, and exhausting. Two key elements make this possible. First, it operates on ROS and ROS2 software libraries modular, open-source frameworks that let developers continuously improve the system. ROS uses traditional TCP IP communication, while ROS 2 leverages DDS, a more advanced protocol that boosts performance and scalability. Second, it integrates Mavlink, a powerful API designed for communication between unmanned systems. It's resilient enough to function in electronic warfare environments and flexible enough to support multiple programming languages. And here's where it gets even more interesting. This robot learns. Every mission gives it new data to process, refining its deep learning algorithms to improve movement, obstacle avoidance, and tactical decision-making. 
If it stumbles today, it won't make the same mistake tomorrow. With each deployment, it becomes smarter, more efficient, and better at navigating the unpredictable chaos of the battlefield. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in.